Hey guys, how you doing? DOD here with a game called Delete. It is a story about a boy who randomly wakes up in, I believe, a factory of some sort, or in some crazy, uh, pretty much abandoned building, and he has lost his memory, having no idea how he got there, who he is for the most part. And to solve this, he decides to go on an adventure to find his man somewhere inside the uh, building he's in. So, let's jump to it. Where am I? Ah, uh, my head. Why does it feel... Empty. Yeah, <laughs> he looks funny. I really do have a lot of books. A computer? Mine, maybe? There's dust gathering on it. Ugh. Oh, that's sick. I love that. Anyways, this game actually got really popular on Game Joe. It made it to the front page, and me being your RPG maker player, dude. I just had to try it out. A diary. It has the name Zai messily scribbled on it. Uh, it has my name on it. Is it mine, then? This must be my room. Why don't I remember? Picked up Zai's journal. I'll read it in a bit. Humans believe that the totality of a human being can be separated into four parts. Body, mind, soul, and spirit. Research has shown that non-living objects only possess a body but a chip can be implanted to replace the mind. Scientists are currently researching methods of implanting a spirit and soul into non-living objects to make androids more human in nature. There is yet to be any signs of such being possible. Hmm. Notes about this person's handwriting is horrible. He can't read it. So this game does have rough, I believe, uh, four different endings. Two bad, one good, and one true. So many books. I sure do have a lot of weird books. I wonder if it's weird that I have this many books. More books. I guess I really like to read. This again. Oh, oh, hey, hey, what's this? Huh? I sworn that was something different than before. The board seems as though it has not been used for some time now. I wonder what this actually does. I never used it. So, so far I gotta say, this thing looks absolutely amazing. Holy crap. No wonder I made a front page. Mother always liked it when I drew stuff. It's weird that I remember that. Why did Mother give me so many books? Books lined up neatly. I'm too short to reach them. I wonder how I managed to before. Maybe with a chair? <laughs> Crude drawings of some weird creature. I hope these aren't mine. This game looks so anime-ish. I like it. I like the way he's drawn. He's got the, uh... I'm a wimpy little kid <laughs> look. <laughs> His little sprite, I mean. Oh, hello. You're kinda cute. <laughs> did, did she just punch me? Uh, uh, I'm sorry, I didn't... Um... You can't leave. What? Why can't I? You just can't. But the door's right there. You're not allowed to. But... No. I'm still going to go regardless. Then I will follow you. Okay. Alright, looks like I made a friend. A friend whose name I don't even know. Oh yeah, my Jerry now. Ooh, this looks awesome. I don't remember anything that's written in here. Could you read it then? Or do you mean that never has he wrote anything in there before? Anyways. I wonder why these books are behind a glass case. Maybe they're important. I pictured the painting a teenage boy and a woman. Ah, oh, that must be your mother. Ah, oh, that's mother. Mother? Mm, this lady over here. And that's me, though. You really are following me around? Yes. Well, since you are, then could you help me find my memories? 
I've lost them, and I've no clue where to look. If I would be of any help. Of course you would. Well, I don't know where to start, so just help me look around, okay? Such a polite young man. I should turn the lights on. I don't know why I leave them off. I'm just so used to the dark. It appears to be some sort of old text, but it's too blurred to be read. So what I want to predict is that he's actually an android of some kind. It has to be. Or, or he's a clone. Hmm. Hmm, what's this? A photo album. Oh, this must be where that picture's from. Huh? There's something stuck in between the pages. Ding ding now. Books in a different language. Books in more different languages. Zai, if you forget where the key card is, remember that it's where you rest your head when we say goodnight. Oh, okay. In that case, that must mean him forgetting his memory is normal. Ah, uh, uh, I forgot to ask. Um, where is this exactly in? Who are you? I'm Subject 4. And this is yourself in your mother's living quarters, I assume. Hmm. That's the most that I've heard you say so far. But Subject 4 is kind of a weird name, though. I suppose. W well, if you don't mind, I'll call you Faye. Why? If I may ask. You're like that fairy from that show I watched. Tinkerbell? You know, grumpy and ow! What happened? Does brain hurt from thinking? <laughs> the only form of decoration you would find in our home. Okay. I'm starting to understand this more. It's getting pretty sad. Documentation of wildlife and human behavior. Same stuff. Sci-fi. More sci-fi. Let's go get that key card. And turn on the lights. Huh? The pillow. Ah. Picked up a key card. Alright, alright, alright. Let's move on down. So I would like to believe that mother created him and um because he's been having created him as her child, but he's been having problems with his memory lately, and so this must be what it is. That's my guess, I don't know. There's a doorknob? Oh, mother always kept the doorknob hidden. Said that I was a disaster waiting to happen. <laughs> hey, don't laugh at me. Oh, that was laughter. I thought she was being sassy. <laughs> it's locked. I shouldn't go in anyway. Mother doesn't like it when I go into her room. Whatever, mommy's boy. That's probably what she's thinking. Eh? This room's bright right away. It automatically detects your presence and sets you on. A rather simple thing to be amazed about. Sh sh shut up. Why don't the previous rooms have this though? Your mother wanted you to not rely on automatic things, so she opted out for them when in her living space. Oh, maybe I should stop trying to get her to talk. <laughs> he doesn't like her. I wonder what she's following me around for. Well, she, she must be a clone too or some weird creation. She's probably just bored. Research centers. One, two, and three. There's some fine prints at the bottom. Please remember to sign into to both departments to gain access to Research Center 3. Uh, let's not go anywhere yet. Let's see what else is on this floor. Ooh boy, lots of notes. Terrific. Books on the Uncanny Valley. A letter addressed to the head of the Research Department. Seems that the book has been left open for a while now. I do not want to read it. Some old text on the first few robots created. I am a robot. An unfinished letter addressed to the defect department. Read it? Why not? Unfortunately, most other writings will not your only one paragraph is readable. Due to the significant rise of reported flaws, this department requires more staff than it has. Than it has, sorry. If any of you are willing to change departments, please let me know. That aside, everything else is illegible. Illegible. Books on the anatomy and industrial robots in their controls. Mechanical parts and their individual functions. A variety of reports made by the research departments. Nothing of importance here. 
There's a note inside that says documents have been stored in the archives for safekeeping. Please refer to them if needed. Equipment is carefully stored into the glass cabinet. A tap. It doesn't seem to have been used for a while now. If you were to use it, would you short circuit? Eh? Eh? An empty Petri dish. Probably for taking samples of robots. Apparatus for chemical works. Okay. Files of chemicals that seem to have been neglected for a while now. It looks like the lab report for the maintenance they were carrying out. It stated a year ago. The screen is lit up, but it doesn't seem to be working. Uh, wrong way. There we go. Please enter the pad. Well, 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 I don't know. How do I leave? Oh no! Okay. There. Jars of some gooey substance. Dirty Petri dishes with sounds of chemicals on them. I'm not sure what these are, but I don't think I want to find out either. Hey, this chair won't let me walk through it. Everything written is illegible, but one sheet of paper. Read it. We've been seeing this kid around for a while now, but he's seen a lot brighter than kids his age. The boss said not to pay him too much mind, but sometimes he helps out in our work. As I said, the kid's pretty sweet and gentle, so we really have no qualms with him. I really hope the boss doesn't think of him as just a... The rest of the words are smudged and illegible. Hmm. Oh no. Oh no, that gives me bad feelings, guys. If I fail with those, we can only enter it and how to fix them. Alright. Now I'm starting to feel like... Mother doesn't really care about all of them. Boxes filled with colorful wires and several types of silicon chips. Cardboard boxes packed with spare parts have been neatly arranged on the shelves. A variety of toolboxes that seem to be packed full with tools. Maybe Mother abandoned us. According to the notes, the last, uh, last project or last letter, whatever it was, was a year ago, so... Could it possibly be that... They abandoned us? But why? It looks like some musing from one of the staff. Read it? The head likes to hang around the repair department because apparently it's more rowdy here. I mean, of course it'd be more noisy here. We're looking for any flaws that could be in the boss's robots. I wish he'd come over here more though. He's so hot. It gives me more motivation to do work and gives me an excuse to dress up. Heh <laughs> I'll try to seduce him. And that's enough of that. An old worn out book. It seemed as though it had been handed with a lot of care. Imagine if this note was about him. That'd be pretty awkward. A book that had been left open. The moisture in the air seems to have smudged out most of the words. A cup of coffee. The dark water looks stagnant. A microscope. It was probably used to examine specimens. Bottles that contain some sort of adhesive substance. Three pieces of paper have been scattered messily. There doesn't seem to be anything of importance. A sink. Water doesn't come out when the tap is turned. Test tubes and other chemistry equipment are neatly arranged in the glass cabinet. Books under various malfunctions of electronics. The cabinet is filled with assignments of files. Oh my god, so many stuff to read! Reverse the screen mouse. At least they actually pay attention to it. I like that. Lots of it is just a uh, flavor text, so nothing really important. No! Password's A. Damn it. Some sort of metal contraption. It looks like a weighing paper. Haha. <laughs> I see. Paper weight. Or weighing paper. Oh, it's meant to measure the weight of paper. Okay, there you go. What did leaves remain where an initially healthy plant was? Uh, poor plant. Dirty pantry dishes. I'm not sure what these are, but I don't think I want to find out either. Uh, it's good stiff. Scattered and messy, gooey substance in a jar. Looks like jelly. I think it's some sort of gel or silicon. Hmm, jelly. Uh. 
Did you just... Yes? <laughs> Never mind. Apparatus for chemical work. I don't get it. Did she just what? Just learn a word? I don't know. A pile of paper lay scattered on the table. Looks like one of the staff wrote their thoughts on it. Read it. Besides the name of the boy, it seems. His cheery self tends to make the atmosphere of this place so much better. Boss says that he won't cause any trouble, and I second that statement. He's a sweetheart, really. Though, I wonder what Boss is up to. She's been cooped up in her room more than usual. We get kind of worried, but she just sh 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 shushes us away. Shushes us away. Weird word! Hopefully she's not overworking. It seems to have been left blank. Oh god, the shush is affecting me. It seems to have been left blank after that. The writing looks messy like the person writing it was rushing off somewhere. That would be weird. Files of chemicals that seem to have been neglected for a while now. Mirandy veggie dishes. A putrid smell wafts out of the refrigerator upon opening it. It's hastily close. I would do, Sai. I would too. In four. I mean, Fay. Fi. Fay. Let's call her Fay. I'd rather not go and do that again. Well, who knows? Maybe that refrigerator is nicer. You need your knee. Access denied. Jerk. Alright, let's go upstairs. By the way, this is not a long game. It's supposed to be an hour, in case you guys were wondering. Hence the uh, four alternative stories. Endings, I mean. I don't have access to this floor. Oops. What? Where do I go? Alright, alright, alright. So I missed something. Okay. Hmm. Something's here then. You know, I'm gonna have to find it. Oh, hey! I can open it anyway, okay. Uh, did I smash it? Did I smash? What? What happened? Did I just die? What was this side? Okay. So for some reason I died when I tried opening this anyways. Why though? I don't know. I'm gonna have to look for that doorknob though. I'm also gonna have to look for the password. Haha! -ha, defect! It did work! Okay, let's see what's in there. Um. Um. Maybe I have to put it in the other one too. are wondering where I got the password it's because the book they were green for some reason and I was like why are they green but I figured it out here were the passwords which is pretty cool so can we gain access now oh yeah all right all right cleaning equipments have been neatly placed inside the cupboard there's a key card stuck in here okay Photo albums have been neatly placed in the glass cupboard. I kind of just slurred that, but whatever. Lots <laughs> of chemicals that seem to have been neglected for a while now. It appears to have several reports of the few androids that have been created. They've been scattered out messily, as though someone was trying to find a specific report. A roughly sketched blueprint of some humanoid robot. This one doesn't seem to be working. It. Some warning would be appreciated next time. S sorry Here, you can use my shirt to... Huh? Faye, did you always have these kind of joints? Had you not noticed the entire time? Rather, aren't these a norm to you? We are androids, after all. 
Android? I'm not human? Ah, you lost your memories, so it's likely that you don't remember. Anyways, your offer is accepted. Please, let me use your shirt to drive my hate. No, I was kidding, I mean, I was desperate. Please, don't use it against me, Faye. I'm sorry. Huh? I'm kind of lost. Why'd he just freak out like that? I mean, he didn't want to see his joints. I'd rather not go through that again. There's so many books that looks just like my journal. Maybe Mother liked the color red. Dead text on psychological behavior. Okay. <laughs> just okay. Several magazines of fictional books have been placed neatly in the cupboard. Most of them look rather old and worn. So the reason for the book I'm willing to bet is so he can learn more about the world. The people here call this place the rest corner. I never figured out why though. Uh, because... Because uh, you're an android and I guess you don't have stamina like we do. Where we need to uh, restore it and stuff. I don't know. Oh no! Would he get his house in? Actually, what am I There's gotta be something here, because it was locked for a reason. Oh, because it's locked. Oh no, I got the key card. Right. Okay, my key card probably grants us access to upper floors, which would be totally awesome. Alright. Well, well then, this is somewhat spooky. By the way, there's a horror, this is a horror S game, which means it's, uh, like horror themed, but not exactly is horror themed, and there is a horror element to it, and the creator said in a notepad that, uh, you could actually skip the entire horror if you don't find it, I suppose, so I guess that's like a pathway to one ending, my assumption. The information in the few files that have been flipped through quickly don't seem to be relevant. More irrelevance. Large files with a variety of bills in them, from electricity to water bills. One bill that has been tagged with a red strip of paper. It seems that the director has somehow burst the electricity electric fuse that day. Reports regarding the damage that are situated on the second and third floor, though it's mostly elite illegible. Some words can be made out. Scene area 2, change of lights, mainframe, sensors, error. The rest are completely illegible. Some maintenance reports on the overall building. They're dated over a year ago. There's a few reports in the file labeled as successful creations. Though most of the contents are unreadable, Zai's name does appear as the first one listed. Creation? I really am an android then. You didn't believe me? Well, I mean, I was skeptical at first, but this really does confirm it. I suppose I'm not human. Oh, how sad. There's a note pasted on the cabinet that says, From Research Center 1. They seem to be reports on the repairs of Subject 2 and 3. Read them. Subject 2. Repair and Restoration Repair Failed. Lacking certain parts of memory chip. Director requested to put Subject 2 aside. Dormant. Subject 3. Maintenance. No issues detected. Behavior as per programming serves as security system. Temporarily dormant. Filled with a variety of words. Who do they belong to? The contents within this cupboard are neatly organized. There doesn't seem to be anything that would be of use in there. A sophisticated keyboard with sophisticated screen. How sophisticated? Oh, I love when they do things like that. A messy pile of paper that seems to be a mixture of bills and reports. It seems like the staff was trying to organize it. Oddly enough, there's shredded paper hidden underneath it. It doesn't seem possible to piece the paper back together, but one of the pieces of it has the word dispose written on it. Hmm. <coughs> Would that mean dispose of paper, or an android that needed to be disposed of and completely wiped away from its data frames? An old worn out book is laid on the table. The moisture in the air has made most of the content illegible. So yep, this thing was totally abandoned. What? It seems to be a coat of some sort. Ah, oh, great. A cup of coffee. The dark water looks stagnant. 
The word director is written on it, but his contents are empty. Get the coffee. The deck writer looks stagnant. I'm gonna say that for every cup of coffee that says that. A stacks stacks of paper and a variety of books are organized on the cupboard. Incomplete reports are haphazardly stuck into the cupboard. It seems that someone was in a rush to keep them. Yep. I'm very good at this whole reading thing. Several pieces of incomplete reports. There doesn't seem to be any information of importance. Documents that seem to have been charred by some sort of incident. They're completely unlegible. Cup of coffee. The dark water looks stagnant. It's locked. Much like everything else in this world. Did I read these? I probably did. Alright. Um, is there anything here? Here we go. Hello. Oh. Well then. Um, let's continue our wayward forward first. No access there, I see. Gonna have to break into it. Seems to be reports of several patients. Perhaps it's not best to touch them. I think it's okay too. There is a file that sticks out in particular. Read it. The text has mostly been blurred out for some reason, but what remains is readable. It's considered the perfect subject in many ways. Though she is imperfect in ways of realism, to our client, she is perfect. But even before mentioning the subject or presenting it to the client, Letters issued to the director. Everything else is unreadable. Readable. Me. It seems to be reports on several patients. Perhaps it's not best. Perhaps it's best not to touch them. So, I kind of just been uh, thinking now, since uh, right when I read this one. What if the girl that's wet me, Faye, is actually evil? She killed all the humans. And no, that wouldn't make sense because there's no, no one dead on the floor. But what if she was the one that the notes was regarding to? I don't know. The papers are filled with a variety of equations and numbers, including a short sentence at the bottom. Please buy more of these feather pens. <laughs> the staff sure are something. Another book that is similar to Zai's journal. Seems to be locked for some reason. Perhaps it's someone else's diary. Let's break into it. Scattered paper denoting several notes regarding performance of a few subjects are placed in a disorderly manner on the table. Well, how unfortunate. The dark screen indicates that it's not working. Further inspection reveals that the computer itself is empty. Ah, just an empty shell. The screen is dimly lit, but the laptop is unusable. Most of the laptops around here are the same. A variety of test reports contains endurance, skill, mental ability, and other tests. Someone was practicing calligraphy here. The pages appears to be filled with a variety of designs. Some of them seem to resemble Faye. Yep, you can't be gaffy. The dark water looks stagnant. And definitely unconsumable. You changed text, so I had to change my tone. <laughs> so yeah. Surprisingly, a working computer. Unfortunately, it seems to only be capable of programming certain devices such as keycards, microchips, and the likes. Upon touching the keyboard, the screen does not respond. It seems that this computer is under lockdown as well. So, I guess the notes here is about Faye, or any notes about a female, would most likely be about Faye, if not the mother. It seems to be some sort of device used to monitor the statuses of the network and connected devices. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem to be working. That's unfortunate. Where is connected the device lines back to the ground? Uh-huh. Isn't it kind of unsafe to leave wires exposed like that? D don't touch it like that. It's faster to demonstrate to you rather than explaining. You seem to understand better by looking. If it was not obvious already, the answer would be no. As long as the wires are not frayed or exposed, they're perfectly safe. I see. Could you not do that again? I prefer an explanation anyway. Could it be that you were concerned? N no, not, not at all. Let's just keep going, okay? Of course. Guess I... Hmm? What a peculiar thing. It, it's perfectly normal. By the way, a lot of these scenes have like a second text. Like, I feel like after any cutscenes between those two, or between at least one of them, they have like a second, uh, 
it's like a text stuff follows that you could look into, which is really cool. I like that. That's one of the things I like about this game, mostly in particular. It is really unique. Oh, something shiny on the floor. I will look at it last. <laughs> Some broken brooms and scrap metals are messily placed in the locker. Selenium's items are stored in this locker. Rusty, yeah, it can't open. Are these robot parts? They seem to be, yes. What about them? What? Well, well, you said that we're androids, right? Aren't we technically robots then? This could have been a part from one of us as well. Your point is? Uh, uh it's nothing. Forget about what I said. So guys, does it bother you that I have not reached the sparkly yet? The misplaced journal written by one of the staff leads here. From the looks of it, it looks like it belongs to the lady that wanted to attempt some seduction technique. As I slid the book behind some boxes. <laughs> he really is the uh, innocent type, isn't he? There's not enough importance inside. Oh, hey. This one actually said the same thing. I thought it would be something different. And psych! You guys are gonna have to wait. Suspense, I know. It is an amazing thing. There's a note here that says, All wirings and spare electronic devices have been placed in the archives. Metal boxes have been placed all around storage. Strangely enough, they're, they don't seem to contain anything. I wonder why this one's gold. A box. It looks rather fragile and breakable. Okay. They like breaking computers. Christ had form on the screen of the computer. It doesn't seem to be usable. Contain nothing. It doesn't seem to be responding to any attempts at all. Alright. Ooh, oh yeah, let's save. I haven't done that in a while. There's something shiny between the wires. Pick it up. Pick up key card 3. Now get back to that box when I have a tool that can smash it. Alright, key card 3. That must mean I can go on the third floor. But first I want to try that locked door. And... Damn it. And I'm in the wrong area. Yep, I am. Damn it. That always happens to me. My name is Zai and Fi. Zai and Fi. We're partners. Best friends. Ever since, well, right now. Damn it. Let's talk about coffee. You can't be coffee. Dark water looks stagnant. Okay, enough with blah. Let's go. Again, love the way they walk. You have a chibi, innocent, kiddish look to them. Watch this game be completely- What? What? Okay, okay, okay. I can't do this. I I'm screwed. I'm horribly screwed. Oh my god, why did I do this? Oh god, what, what can I do? What can I do? I can't- I can't do anything.